Greetings and peace be unto you all. I greet you in truth, balance, and wholeness. Let us arise in power. I am grateful for all creation of the Almighty Creator. There is a song by William Murphy entitled, It's Working. The lyrics of this song are as follows. This is my season for grace, for favor. This is my season to reap what I have sown. Then it goes on to say, it's working together for my good. The word grace is defined as unmerited mercy. That means you did not have to work for it. It's not owed to you, but it's freely given to you. The word favor means an approval or support of someone or something. So if we were to substitute the words with the definition in the song, it would say something like, this is my season for unmerited mercy, for approval, support, and goodwill. Many of us can relate to our mothers or grandmothers, our, even our fathers or grandfathers, or any known cooks in our family, using a variety of seasoning to give a little zest and satisfying flavor to our favorite meals. They added good seasoning to produce a desirable flavor and taste. Just like in a meal that is cooked by our loved ones, all elements in life are interrelated. All our actions are universally connected within the universe. We must continually taste the product of the Creator's divine and desirable favor. It's determined by what we put into the bowl of life. We all know that life happens. We have good days, we have bad days, we, we have successes and struggles. A songwriter once penned the words, sometimes I'm up, sometimes I'm down, sometimes I'm almost leveled to the ground. Yes, life happens, but although life happens, we cannot choose what happens to us, but we can choose how we respond. There's an old saying, if you can't stand the heat, then get out the kitchen. But I say to you today, stay in the kitchen, but be mindful of the heat. The heat can be both a benefit or a danger. Respect the heat. Be aware of the heat and deal with it properly and responsibly. Use the heat for good and always at a safe distance and in a safe manner. When you are cooking on the stove, you, you use the proper utensils, you, you wear the appropriate clothing, you use oven mitts or heat pads to protect yourself and other items from the heat. Just as you do with your association with the heat in the kitchen, you must also take precaution and protective measures when you're dealing with people you associate with in life. Whether it's on your job, whether it's in your school, whether it's within your family or your community, or even in your place of worship. Stay clear of negative people. Don't get caught up and involved in toxic communication, hypnotic pontification, or optic salvation. Protect yourself with a spirit of humbleness, meekness, and clarity of thought so you can respond rationally and not emotionally. Make sure every thought, every action, and every word flows with a heart of goodness, a spirit of righteousness. Every action affects other areas of our lives. If we put in toxic, harmful seasoning, you will produce and get a toxic, harmful result. But if you season your conversations with grace, your mind with goodness and wholeness, your actions with the right spirit, everything you do will be properly seasoned for favor. Remember, life doesn't happen to us, but life happens through us. Peace and bright moments.